Hello, this is Dave with Los Olas Picks. I thought I'd make a video about the partnership between Virgin Trains and Brightline. Attention all Brightline guests, Bright Orange will be departing within the next minute. Please stand clear of the closing doors. Please stand clear of the closing doors. I haven't done any videos lately. Some real world issues have been interfering with my yeah, online life. But anyway, I'm back, and so I thought I would uh, okay. explain what's going on. First thing is that this is a done deal. I've seen news stories that refer to Brightline as the passenger rail service formerly known as Brightline. So it's Virgin Trains already. The branding's going to change. The yellow Brightline logo is going to go away, and it's going to be Virgin Train with the Virgin branding. But that's going to take a while. So the um, and I, I'll get into a little bit more about the details of that. But first, just as a background, Brightline. I'll just explain who Brightline is in case you don't know. It's a uh, it's the only privately owned and operated intercity passenger rail service in the United States. Currently connects Miami, Fort Lauderdale, and West Palm in South Florida. Now these trains are not electric, they're biodiesel, they're very clean, there's no black soot or anything around them. But uh, I'll go into why the trains are not electric in South Florida in another video. It's not a high speed rail line. The trains on the current tracks only go up to about 80 miles an hour and the link from West Palm to Orlando, which is planned in the near future, will have speeds up to 125 miles an hour. So even that's not considered high speed rail. The West Palm Beach to Orlando link, the part that hasn't been built yet, is facing a lot of... Welcome to Brightline. Please take a moment to familiarize yourself with the information booklet in your seat back pocket. Inside, you'll find safety and emergency exit information, as well as a list of onboard amenities. Snacks and beverages will be served and are available for purchase for guests in our smart coach and complimentary for those riding in select. Thank you and enjoy the ride. It's facing a lot of political and regulatory opposition, and I'll make a separate video about that. I really would just like to focus on uh, what's happening with Virgin and Brightline in this video. Brightline has also acquired the rights for a rail link between Las Vegas and, and Southern California. That That's, uh, of course, now Virgin Trains. So Virgin, of course, is Richard Branson's company. Sir Richard Branson, he's, um, he's of course, a, a charismatic figure. I'm just sort of, if you look through some uh, pictures, you can see that uh, this guy really gets around. This one is my personal favorite. It's from a Barron's article. I'm not so sure this guy's a virgin. Anyway, I understand Virgin Trains has been operating in the UK for years. So they have a uh, rail network that, an intercity rail network that's been operating for some time. But Virgin is best known for Virgin Air in the US. But there are a lot of companies. It's my understanding that there are more than 400 companies controlled by the uh, by Virgin. So about this deal, this is not an acquisition. Virgin is not buying Brightline. Instead, it's a strategic partnership, and uh, Virgin will make a minority investment, not a controlling interest, in Brightline. And Brightline will change its name to Virgin Trains and use the Virgin branding. The railroad will continue to be operated by the current management team, which is uh, called Fortress Investment Group, but it'll be named uh, Virgin Trains. And I think that uh, Richard Branson's involvement, of course, he's not going to be involved in it if he can't ensure that it'll live up to his uh, standards for quality and service. And, uh, so I don't know how much money was involved or what interest Richard Branson or Virgin and his companies will have, what percentage it'll be. And it might not even be made public at all. But because there's a big bond issue, tax-advantaged bonds, it's not, there are no guaranteed bonds, they're just tax-advantaged. Now the bond issue is pre-existing. That was done months ago to fund the, the current route. I think it's about $600 million in bonds. But because of the bond issue, I'll be able to find out through regulatory filings what the deal is because it has a bearing on the value of the bonds so they can't make this kind of deal without disclosing to bondholders and I suspect it'll boost the value of bonds. The bonds had been considered 
junk bonds because the uh, concept is unproven. The, the longer term implications are what I'm really intrigued by because the Richard Branson and the Virgin name have a sort of a cachet. It's, he's, not everyone is enthralled with Richard Branson because of his uh, uh, business dealings. He's considered a kind of a tax evader. He's renounced his, his UK citizenship to avoid taxes. So in some circles, uh, people don't really like that. And also, this is coming on the heels of the failure of the Virgin Trains East Coast deal, which was a government uh, privatization effort franchise that was taken on by Virgin, and it failed, and the government revoked the franchise. So that's kind of a blot on their record. But in the United States, the Virgin name has an excellent reputation. Now, these tracks are the Florida East Coast Railway, not to be confused with the East Coast Rail deal in, in the UK that went south. I think that operating in the UK especially, but around the world, is not exactly a friendly regulatory environment. So Branson has experience with regulation and political opposition and all those things. So I think that his name and his guidance, uh, not necessarily his personal guidance, but he's got an organization, will help Brightline deal with the headwinds with, from community opposition groups and uh, government, local governments. So that's just a quick update. I have lots and lots of footage and some more information, and I'll be monitoring the situation. Subscribe for updates if you want to follow what's happening with the Brightline partnership. Whatever I can find out, I'll come back here. And if you want to know the status of the rail links to Orlando and Tampa, I will come back and do some updates on that. Also, I, if you know my channel, you know I like to include some clips of people behaving badly around railroad tracks, so here you go. I also have a lot of footage and videos and pictures of uh, Brightline and information on the technology and the, the technical aspects of it and the architecture of the, sta the stations and so on. So I'd like to come back and present those videos as well. So thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you want me to keep doing this kind of thing. And see you next time.